Hey guys, it's me. I uh, want to give you guys a last video update of the year for me and uh, the outcome of the get 35 gallon cube. Well, as most of you guys know, that I had to retire the 55 gallon due to the center brace breaking on me. I was literally passing by it and I heard the pop and I said WTH and when I look there it is it's cracked wide open and I panicked so bad I literally took everything and rushed it to this cube thank god it was running because it would have been a disaster. I would have probably lost everything. Um, five years of hobby, total, gone. Um, so yeah, that was my final journey. Um, this is my outcome of uh, 35 gallon cube overall. I'm still working on dismantling the 55. I mean, it's just it's still there. Um, it's just not a working order. I've been giving more dedication to this because it needs it. That can wait. So anyways, um, I decided to change the lighting. As you can see, there's no flickering or anything. I put back the T5 and see what's, you know, how is it gonna react again. Um, I haven't used this T5 fixture since, uh, I would say, three or four months ago. I uh, actually did put it back on the 20 gallon high. Yeah, it was doing pretty good. Um, the bulb combination is eight hours of actinic and Coral Plus and then six hours of Blue Plus and Aqua Blue Special. Now the difference between the T5 and the LED for me. Um, with the T5 you get total coverage as you can see but on the LED you lose the shimmer. Um, now, I did have two, uh, two blue plus, uh, two blue plus in here and two, uh, coral plus, but it looked too blue and I'm not really a big fan of the deep blue lighting. Uh, it's got to look a little whiter to me and as you can see. This is what I come up with, with those four combinations. It, it doesn't look bad. Uh, people complain about the Aqua Blue Special, that it washes out the colors. I don't see any washing out. Um, now the LED in person, at least the bulb that I have, the colors do pop out more. They do. Now, for video purposing, with this camera, it does not take uh, footage pretty much. Uh, it just, it, it doesn't respond well with those lights. Now, in person, the colors do pop out more. And it is a little blur to my liking, but I noticed a significant growth with the LEDs, especially from the Tidal Gardens purchase. So I'm going to try back the T5s again and with this combination for about a month and see what happens. Um, these light bulbs are in the very edge to be changed anyway. So I'm going to get this set um, one last month and if I do like it, um, or if I see more response of the corals pretty much because that's the whole reason 
of choosing lighting. In my opinion, you should choose lighting more for the benefits for the corals, not for your aesthetic liking. Um, one thing to pleasure you and one thing to pleasure them, it's two different purposes. And that's going against the hobby, in my opinion. It's just personal preference. Always, at a 100%, it's not always going to benefit for the tank itself. It's just going to benefit you. So keep that in mind. Um, anyways, back to uh, the reef. Um, I see why now people are liking the cubes. Uh, the depth that you get out of these cubes is amazing. I mean, just looking in front of this cube versus my 55 is like looking in the ocean. You actually can see things from afar and things from a close. And I'm really loving it. I, I'm really, really digging this out. Um, if I actually do get the money to get another cube and go bigger, I'd probably go for like a 90 or 92, whatever it is. Um, if there's anything bigger than that, I, I probably would still think about it, but I think, I think it'd be way too big uh, because of the depth. So picking a specific spot for it, most likely a corner, would be ideal. Uh, anyways, this is probably the last update that I'll give you guys for the year. Um, so, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Let's end this year with a bang. And uh, hopefully that's going on with me since this year has been very bad for me it's been through i've been through hell I, emotionally i've been through hell and once again i have to thank you guys you guys have been solid with me you guys are you guys are like my family you know i know you guys certain of you to more to a personal level and i can't thank you guys enough for that you know you, you spread more love to some of the people that I actually know in person. Um, and that's great. I mean, that's that's awesome. That, it's an awesome feeling. I mean, sometimes I wish I could just pull you guys out of the video and, and, and meet you guys up in person because that's all, I, that's all that's really needed to have one big gathering for everybody. That's not likely possible at all. But it would be nice, you know. Um, so, this is my new journey. And I hope I can go even farther with this cube. Um, you guys saw how I did the DOI uh, stand. I put back the DIY 20 gallon sump. Uh, it's not doing too bad at all. Actually, it's tumbling the chato pretty damn good better than before when I last used the sump uh, the tumbling of the Chato actually did better than the Aquion sump that I have for my 55 so in overall um, this DIY actually turned out better than an actual aftermarket um, let's see what else uh, in terms of coral placement, I'm still struggling to which which corals should go where. I'm kind of liking everything the way it is now, but I have to see their response. And if I see something different, I might move things around. Um, mind you, this uh, this 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 cube is only running through the return pump. That's it. That's the only thing that's moving this tank. Uh, what was it again? 462 gallons per hour. 
but that's at a zero height so I know I'm losing some just don't know how much uh, I would say it's about maybe three and a half feet maybe of height so I don't know maybe I'm pushing about 390 something like that I'm not sure but it seems to be doing good everything is moving great um, I put certain corals in certain areas for a reason to see the flow and so far so good I mean if I do have to put a wave maker in it hey I'll do it but if I don't have to hey let's keep it let's keep it simple so that's that's uh that's my touch on that um what else what else anyways I guess maybe let's do it like that uh, give me some comments see how you guys like the tank see how what you think about the tank um, any tips any suggestions always I greatly appreciate it because the better information I get for, for cubes better tips that I can get for cubes the overall the better experience I will have so anyways guys take care like I said happy holidays enjoy your new year uh, open lots of gifts spread the love be with your family be with your friends and have an explosion of a year okay let's end this with a bang take care guys peace